school so it's 4 15 in the morning and I'm still at four centimeters I got up here to the hospital at about nine um, thinking that my water had broke but it apparently hadn't um, and I was three centimeters and they uh, told me to get up and walk for about half an hour so I did that and came back and they checked me and I was still three centimeters so um, but I was my contractions were coming about every two minutes so they said they didn't want me to leave with them being that close together and they wanted to wait and see where I was at and they would check me again in about an hour and a half so that must have been at about 11:30. and um, Jordan was home with Gunner because we weren't sure if they were going to keep me yet and so then they checked me up close to 1 a.m. and I was I had dilated more to a four so then they said they would keep me and admit me and um, give me an epidural and the epidural ended up being a disaster it took four tries to get it in and it hurt so bad and the an anesthesiologist said that it was the hardest one ever I don't know if it was really the hardest ever but Apparently, my scoliosis made it harder to get it in there, um, and they finally got it to work, and I'm just relaxing now, but since one, there hasn't, it's four now, there hasn't really been any change, so they said they might um, start some Pitocin if nothing changes, and, um, and we're just going to go from there, but I've been here for seven hours and I've been admitted for three and I have made one centimeter progress but they said her head has descended a whole bunch and that's good and they want me to sleep but oh that's the other thing they keep giving me ephedrine because my blood pressure keeps dropping and so ephedrine is like speed and so that makes it hard to sleep so um that's pretty much it um daddy is here he got here at about three in the morning and then um my mom got here at about not much longer after probably about 3 30 so they're here with me and we're just eagerly anticipating some sort of change my mom asked me to work at nine so come on come on Georgia that's my fingers crossed <laughs> and um, I'll keep updating but for now I just wanted to do that update for for purposes so I don't forget later because I know that I'll be tired and forget little details so that's the update for now. Okay, so it's 5.47 and there's still no change, which is, everyone's just um, patiently or impatiently inside waiting. <laughs> Or something to change I'm hoping something has but they um really want me to sleep but I can't sleep I just can't I have gotten close a few times but can't sleep and um so the last time they checked me I was a four hopefully when they check me again I'll have dilated more um my daughter called and hopefully she's on her way and she's trying to find a ride up here and um, that's pretty much it it's not really that much that has changed um, they gave me another shot of ephedrine because my blood pressure was being funny again and I'm drinking apple juice and I have a catheter which is fun for the whole family and 
Daddy's down here reading. Nana's over there in the chair. And she's on her phone too, drinking coffee. Oh, here's where, here's the rest of the room. Here's where, Georgia, that's where you're gonna be when you're born, honey. That's where they're gonna put you. They weigh you and stuff, I think, right over there. And here's the rest of the room. Our nurse's name is, uh, Haley? Reagan. We don't know what my nurse's name is. It's either Reagan or Haley. Oh, hey. oh is, it, is it Haley? It looks like an R. It's either Reagan or Haley, yeah. And, um, and my back itches. And here's the rest of the room. And that's, oh, there's the clock up there. Nothing super exciting yet. But hopefully we'll get some of the good stuff on video. Not that good. I mean, we're not going to get the goods, it's but... the good stuff. <laughs> we're not going to get the goods, but we'll get... Hopefully we'll get... We'll get um, her being born from the other side, the other view. Hopefully we'll get that, so... That is the update for now. Keep you posted. Hey, so it's um 7:45 and Jordan's here. Jordan, wave, honey. Jordan's here. She got here about I don't know 15 minutes ago, and they started me on pitocin. Finally, about an hour later than they said they were going to. Um, so I've gotten pitocin now, and um. We're just waiting for the contractions to pick up and do something more. Jordan brought up my hospital bags and um, Georgia's. And they had a shift change, so we have new nurses. We have uh, Alex and Kristen, I think. Or, no, Allie. Does that say Allie? Where? Up there. Uh, yeah, Allie. Allie and Kristen. Well, excuse me, one of them is a nurse in training. Um, so, um, we have two nurses, two for the price of one. And um, that is pretty much it. Um, no, no big news yet, but hopefully I'll dilate quick. So, that's where we're at now. Hi, it's 10.30 and they haven't checked me for hours now. I don't remember what time I did my last update, but um, they haven't checked me. So I don't know if I'm more dilated, but um, Mandy, Mandy's here now. Say hi, Mandy. Hi. She's having lots of contractions. Yeah, she said that they're just coming back to back. So hopefully... There's been some change because I've been here for 13 and a half hours. I've slept for about an hour. And, um. You're so flexible. Yeah. And my mom has come and gone. She had to go to work. Um. My daughter's come. She got here. Mandy got here. Um. Jordan's sleeping. Um. So that he has some energy for the big event. And. Can you hear it going? We're just hoping that there's some change soon. I'm feeling good, a little bit tired, but really excited to meet Georgia. And we have her outfits picked out. That oh, was Jordan. We have her outfits picked out and we have her diaper, cloth diaper picked out. And we're just, we're excited. Everybody, everyone's eagerly waiting for pictures and updates of our little girl and um so I'll probably I might post this video up on um my Facebook so I love love you all 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 our friends and family love you and talk to you soon hi so here's my update for one o'clock there's 105 um they came and broke my water about 10 minutes ago. 
because I'm still only dilated to a four and uh, they are hoping that things progress quick now. They have the baby bed set up and the uh, wrist, the bands, the wristbands and her little hat and everything and we have her outfits and her um, her diaper and everything all set out ready for her and I'm having some big contractions. I'm not, I'm having a big one now, huh, Jordan? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> really? I can feel something. Is it 70 right now? I can feel when it. You said that it was only at 49. <laughs> oh well. Now it's at 115. Nope. I can feel it. I don't okay. know. It feels it feels stronger. All your contractions stronger. just go up to 127, so it's at 127 right now. Let's say hi, honey. <laughs> Say hi, baby. This hi, is baby. <laughs> this is for the vlog. It's for the vlog out there. Mm -hmm. It's for all my fans. We get, this is for all the people that have been following the pregnancy updates on on uh, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And I told you guys that I would update with the video as soon as possible. So here, here we are. Instead of a 38-week pregnancy update, we have a 38-week labor update so soon 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 I'll have Georgia um, up here so um, I don't know maybe I'll try and edit this and get it put up and then uh, and then do a video of you know the the end of my labor and her born and everything just so that I can uh, get this first part up so I don't know but that's the update for now and I'll keep you posted. Um, I'm feeling all right, other than not really progressing. The epidural's working good. Um, I don't really have a headache. I'm hungry. I'm really super hungry. Um, and yeah, I feel pretty good. I'm just ready to ready to have a baby. I miss I miss uh, my son. I'm 16 month old. I feel really bad he's at um, our friend's house and he's being really well taken care of but I'm I miss him she just sent us pictures and he looks sad and that just breaks my heart I miss him so much I'm never I'm never away from him but I'm really really glad that my oldest daughter gets to be here and that means a lot to me I'm I'm so thankful that it worked out that she was able to miss school and be able to be here um, for her sister's birth, so I will update soon. Bye.